your uh, jo uh, jobs in the Jenkin, right? So in the previous video, we have seen how we have created a Cucumber uh, project and we have run our project from the Maven command and from the feature file directly from the feature file. And in in the in the previous videos, we have also seen that how we have created the test ng projects and uh, we are running the test ng from the command line from Maven command line and uh, and uh, from the directly from the test ng xml right so uh, in this particular scenario uh, in this particular session we are going to see how to create a jenkins job and uh, make the use of the jenkins right uh, so let's start with the uh, jenkins so I am not going to cover here how to install the Jenkins, right? Uh, that is a again a different uh, particular topic. So I am assuming that you have installed the Jenkins, and uh, when you hit this local host 8080, so Jenkins server sh should be started up and running, right? So I am assuming uh, you have already installed it. Right? <coughs> okay. So uh, if you have installed, and then uh, first of all you have to go to the manage Jenkins. So there are two kind of settings in Jenkins, right? One is the, at the Jenkins level and another is at the job level. Okay, so Jenkins level settings are the generic for all the jobs and for job level settings that is specific to a particular job. Okay, so we'll first see the high level global Jenkins settings and later on we'll see how to uh, configure your particular jobs. Okay, so this is a really important thing in Jenkins. So when you go here, so uh, first you need to go to the global tool configuration. Okay, so let me open in a different tab. So here nothing much is required. Just you see here nothing, everything is default. Just make sure that the Maven, you click here Maven installation. Okay, so initially it is default. Better you give here some particular name like I have given a Maven 3 here, right? You click on this particular install automatically and select the particular version. Like in my case, I have selected 350. Click on the save button, right? Nothing else is required in this particular setting. Okay, then you go here, uh, configure system. Uh, I don't think so, anything is required here. Let me confirm you. Uh, see, all these th are default, okay? Uh, just make sure that the path is correct okay m to home okay this is download apache maven 339 slash bin no slash after that okay and rest is the uh, default nothing else okay click on the save okay only these two settings are required in global settings right now come to the at the job level now you you have to create on the new uh, okay i forgot one more important point sorry uh, this manage plugin this is really important steps uh, go to the manage plugin okay go to the available and click here okay and search here for different different plugin like get uh, test ng cucumber maven all these plugins are required right i have already installed that's why it will not come in the available so i will i am going to show you in the install tab but you have to go to the available and search the same plugin which we are going to see here so let me show you the cucumber one first this cucumber report is the most important plugin okay uh, then you can install the other plugin also cucumber trend reports cucumber plugin and json report reporting okay so this is the uh, cucumber reports. i will show you at the end of the video that how beautiful the reports will be of cucumber engine can right so cucumber is one then you the test ng test ng results plugin is required then you need uh, let me show maven so these are already default already pre-installed uh, plugins are there but if not then you have to install the maven one also then i need uh, get okay get plugin and get server plugin these two plugins are required okay so i think uh, that's it okay no more plugins are required okay so at this point of time I, I'm, I'm assuming that you have installed the Jenkins and you have checked in your repo into the get okay and you have the get with you okay so and this is what i'm assuming 
so now let's go to uh, fine. go to the Jenkin and click the new item okay enter any particular name like Sheetal okay and click on the freestyle project okay and you can also select the maven but I prefer the freestyle project and click on the okay okay so I have uh, already created few uh, uh, jobs for you so we'll uh, show you that only okay so you give any particular name any any name job any description okay then I, I parameterized uh, uh, here you have to click this project parameterized okay like in get the default branch is master but if we if suppose you want to run against a develop branch or any particular abc branch in that case you need to parameterize this thing right so if if every time you are running on uh, master only then this you skip this particular step okay no need to check this particular checkbox so just to make sure so give any particular parameter name here like i have given the branch underscore name default value is master okay come down click on the get give the particular uh, get path uh, okay dot get path here and as this is a public repo so i don't need any credential here so branch to be built here i have parameterized c star slash dollar uh, inside the curly braces branch name okay so this the this is the text you have to give here then leave this trigger build trigger build environment not required here okay so build here you have to give the same name which we have given previously in the Jenkins setup jobs so it's maven 3 okay and these are the goals so uh, make sure that it is not starting with the maven like this it should not start with maven and when you run in your local system uh, using the maven command line then you have to run this whole command right but in Jenkins uh, as we are using maven so it will append the maven keyword in front of this particular job so we need to start goal with test not the maven okay so this is the goal and this is the post build action so what kind of report you are interested in so I have I have given here two reports for the cucumber okay just to show you that but in normal case you need only the cucumber reports you don't need this particular report because this is more beautiful beautiful pie charts will come I will show you okay nothing but okay in in uh, our particular uh, in about reports this 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 is the second report okay so you have to give the path of the uh, json whatever the uh, result dot json is uh, generated so that path is required okay click on the save and uh, go to jenkin okay so uh, here the job will come here then you have to click on this job and you need to run build with parameters okay this is the default master okay and you can click on build so the 18th job start running right it will take some time okay just wait for that and here we'll get the cucumber report and Okay, after, uh, after this I will show you the how the test ng uh, job can be created okay so I've written a dummy test very simple test okay so it will not take much and important thing yeah, in this Jenkins your browser will not come okay like in normal case browser opens up Mozilla or Chrome opens up and everything you can see but in case of Jenkins everything is run into the background same Mozilla and Chrome run but in the background right don't get confused that where is the browser right uh, okay so report has been generated uh, 18th job has been passed successfully click on this particular report see this is the report so only one feature home page only one feature file is there one test case I have run so this is the feature 100% pass next click on next these are the scenarios all the scenarios have been passed great and all the steps have been passed okay so this report you can show to the management people and there will be they will be 
more than happy to see pie chart right business people generally get very happy when you show the report and pie right <laughs> this is happening all the time <coughs> sorry okay and go back and uh, click here uh, there is one more report cucumber test results this is the second report we have added a plugin right so in this case the report will be like this if you like this particular report so uh, i'm happy no worry you can use this particular plugin also but there there will be no pie chart in this case so that's why i uh, told you that cucumber report is the better option in case of cucumber right so i am uh, okay just quickly let's see uh, a second uh, uh, this test ng report right so suppose uh, if you have a test ng uh, framework so same settings nothing change same get path okay no need to change anything else okay uh, so i am um, branch to build is master so default is master i, I have not parameterized the build in this in this case so you leave everything just again build select the maven 3 okay and this is the path this is the uh, goal okay uh, i am again starting with a clean test hyphen d and i am passing the xml particular xml in the job to build okay and post action this is the plugin test ng result publish test ng results okay and you have to give the xml path here and you have to click on the save and just run okay so i have uh, already uh, run this particular so let's directly see the result uh, here are the results test ng results see this is the result okay uh, all the cases has been passed uh, let's see what kind of report is that okay so this is the uh, test ng report okay not that much beautiful if you compare with the cucumber but yeah uh this is the report i am able to see in the jenkin with this particular plugin and that's it my friends so i hope that uh, the jenkin part is clear and uh, i can say that jenkin part is really very important to manage your ci cd part right uh, you can run you can create the different different jobs based on your xml or cucumber uh, on different different branches <coughs> and uh, uh, you can also configure the email part in the jenkin okay so uh, that part we can uh, include in any other and uh, in, in any other session right so this is the basic setup you need so i hope you find this uh, particular tutorial interesting and just let me know that if you need any more information from my my side or uh, anything you need to comment on right Okay friends, thanks for watching this particular video and thank you. Bye-bye.